guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name's Annika and this vlog is going to be, I'm guessing, a mix of several days of several things that I go on and do. I'm going to see what I end up filming in the end just because I'm not sure how much footage I'll be able to get today and then like the other days. But it is the first day of half term and we are going to Tully's farm to pick our pumpkins. I have gone full on 2016 to 2018 eyeliner and cut crease look and it is giving. I'm sorry, it is giving. I haven't done a makeup look like this in ages. I feel like I look super pale, but we're gonna ignore that. It is autumn, getting into winter. If you see redness on my chest and my neck, do ignore that. Last weekend, my friend had a pirate party and I covered myself in tattoos, like fake tattoos, and some of them did not want to come off, so I've been scrubbing them because I really wanted to wear this jumper. I have been scrubbing them to get them off and they're still not fully off, but we're gonna pretend that they are and that I'm not really red. Hopefully that will go down soon if not i will literally be color correcting all of my pictures i have also gone curly i feel like curly hair right now this is giving like super autumn vibes with the ginger it's really faded i'm getting it re-dyed but i feel like it is super super autumn vibes autumnal i curled it two days ago and it's still looking good last night i went to see the caucasian chalk circle with my mum and i got to meet carrie hope fletcher i genuinely was speechless i also bumped into scott her best friend and literally musical theatre icon was literally speechless i saw him and i was like uh, uh, did not say any words and i was like ah, oh my gosh freaking out i have been on a full-on energy high recently so we're gonna try and keep that up with tonight at the pumpkin patch. I am gonna be interested to see how photos and things turn out because I definitely do wanna get some photos, but it is gonna be dark um, and I don't know if that's the vibe. Last year we went during the day. That's why my mum was like, oh, let's book the nighttime one. And I'm thinking like the courtyard, if you've ever been to Tully's Pick Your Own Pumpkins, like the pumpkin patch um, section, you'll know that you come in and it's like a massive courtyard with loads of food stands and like little activities for kids and things like that. And we didn't get to see much of that last year because because we mainly just went into the pumpkin patch and like picked some pumpkins. The photos from that were genuinely iconic. They're still some of my favorite photos on my Instagram, but I do want to get some more photos this year. There's live music behind me, which is super fun. <laughs> There's um, live music behind me, and I'm currently sitting in the queue to get some food. But I'm not sure what I want. I was thinking of getting mac and cheese, but I have just seen that you can build a crumble. And I really, really want a crumble. But it's not like solid food, so I'm not sure, but I might go for a crumble. We just ate. I had a mac and cheese in the end. Do not recommend, it was not good. He had a burger, was better. So probably should have gone for that. But now we're going into Tully's Pumpkin Nights. the other field because that's where we went last year obviously we came in the daytime so we thought oh the fields are closed stop complaining yeah but that's all good we were like oh the fields closed but then obviously it's the night time so they have a whole separate one for night time look how pretty it is Ew. the size of your head so we're on the hunt to make this a bit more of an event because we're not actually going to take too many pumpkins home with us we're on the hunt for the biggest pumpkin that we can find and Eric has said that he thinks he's found one. It is a big one, but I think there's probably bigger. Guys, this camera does not do well at night time. It'd be really funny if someone in a clown costume ran down that hill. Would it be, Eric? Yeah. Meet my brother. <laughs> hollow. Um, Eric, all pumpkins are hollow? I don't know. Yeah. Let me turn it to the good side. That side's my <laughs> The good side's there. Probably is the biggest. 
I think so. The, no, the, there I'm probably sure. are going to be bigger ones. Like over, over that way, there's bigger pumpkins, but I don't think we're going that way. Yeah. You can't rainbow flick a pumpkin, Eric. You probably could. The whole inside was done up. Like you guys are literally going to the I, I'm totally there was a pizza place literally back there. I'm so annoyed. I really want a pizza now, but I'm not going to have a pizza. And you didn't eat much mac and cheese either, did you? We can see Shoptober from here. Not even like Shoptober, just the light in the sky. It won't pick up on camera. I mean, it will. You might see the one through the trees. I mean, there's a beam coming up through the trees, but there's like, yeah. And you can see all the lights from Shoptober. It is crazy. I really want to go to Shoptober. Yeah, we get the No, I want a hot chocolate or a crumble. I feel like we should share a crumble there. Oh my gosh, there's so many little kids in pumpkin costumes. They're sitting like in the pumpkin. The most adorable thing. There was one literally sat inside the pumpkin barrel. Oh, there's and, a dog oh in the pumpkin. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. There, there's a little dog. It's now behind the pole. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We just came back to the entrance of the place and took some pictures in this cute spot. He saw some little gremlins and said that they were me and my friends. Well, well, so my friends, be offended. These are the biggest pumpkins. I can confirm. <laughs> oh no, the biggest pumpkin is the one over there. Oh, yeah. Is it real or test? Is it real or fake? Taste test. Taste test? I don't think I, I don't think you'll be eating any of the pumpkins here, like here and now anytime soon. I think one. these are so cool. Gosh, my hair's going frizzy from like the weather. He's gonna go test if the pumpkin's real. And then I want your verdict. It's real. It's real? Yeah. Real? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> to London for the day. I edited the footage from yesterday, this morning. I decided to make this into a bit more of a weekend vlog, seeing as it wasn't super long and like the content of it, like I don't know. So we've come into London, done a little sibling day out in London Bridge and we are going to the Tube now to get to Oxford Circus. Um, I'm doing some of my photography homework, so that's one of the reasons we were coming in. And then just have a walk around, grab something to eat. Bond Street instead of Oxford Circus because we were coming from London Bridge we would have cha we would have had to change and then it'd be one more stop um, and that was like genuinely pointless so we've got off at Bond Street we're gonna go into Selfridges now and just have a walk around have a look around uh, and then I'm gonna get out my camera and some photography which I won't be filming at the same time because that is very difficult okay so we're gonna go into Selfridges now straight up to the Christmas section and literally we couldn't resist it. It's like the IKEA ones but that's what we Oh they're cute to pay. You couldn't resist it. I couldn't resist it. I love Christmas. I haven't made any Christmases purchases this year. Oh my gosh this is literally adorable. Eric look at this. Look how adorable this snow globe is. Thank you. 
that is the most adorable snow globe I've ever seen. The nutcrackers always remind me of Christmas in Florida. No, oh, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, our uncle and my cousins always have nutcrackers. Oh, I feel like we need to get a nutcracker just for that. No. I like these ones playing the drums. We need to get a new one of these. Yeah. One of the broken. I have a collection of like moving houses, like cities at Christmas that go on a. Well, it's not a city, but they make a little city. Yeah. Um, there's a ski slope or train. There's more like a town hall, which is the train. Yeah. Dan. Um, and they all move, but one of them is one of them is broken. The train doesn't spin anymore, so we need to get a new one. But my mum doesn't want one because she doesn't actually like them, but we love them. So I think we need to get a new one this year. Are you ignoring me? No, no, I'm not. McLaren in Lego. You don't even support McLaren. I like McLaren. He supports Red Bull. We left the Christmas section without making any purchases because it is too early for that. It's too early for making Christmas purchases. There was some really, really cute stuff. Like that snow globe. But that snow globe, that, um, what's it called? Gingerbread snow globe. I want that snow globe. So it's what I found yesterday. I'll just turn it. I like the tomatoes. Look how adorable know, that is. Brussels sprout. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. This is Eric's element. He is obsessed with Funko Pops. Me. Guys, I am obsessed with the Elsa one, this one, and the Cinderella one. Like, look, so that's the Elsa one. Stitch. All right. He's having a great time. I am obsessed with this one and the Cinderella one, this one. And I don't even collect Funko Pops, but I think that they would be so cute just sat on my desk, like one of them. I am so frustrated with myself. I brought the wrong lens for my camera, so I can't even do my photography today, meaning I'm gonna have to come back. I was gonna come back anyway, but it just feels like a wasted, like it's not a wasted day because we're out and we're having a good day, but I need to get that photography done. Huh? Gets me out of my room. Yeah, it gets him out of his room and stops me from doing my work. I had so much work to do over half time. It's not okay. But yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to come back and do the shoot again. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna have a walk around and find somewhere to eat because I'm hungry. He's not hungry, but he's like, fine, I'll eat now. Um, I kind of fancy a pizza from yesterday, from missing out on that pizza yesterday and having that horrible mac and cheese. I want a pizza. So I think we look for a pizza today. I'm gonna come back to you guys because we've gone in the wrong direction, but. We just popped into Urban Outfitters because Eric is on the hunt for a ring, like a nice ring. Yeah. So we wanted to check if they had any men's rings, like keep an eye on that because I think we have to turn off. No, not yet. Yeah, um, Eric wants to get like a good quality like silver ring. So I know Urban probably isn't the best quality but we were looking if they had something for now whilst he finds a good one. We did see a beautiful Vivian Westwood one. Now we are walking actually to get something to eat which I've already said, but I am literally starving. Eric's hungry. Also, I don't know if you can see behind me, the Christmas lights are up. And I think they turned on, on on the 4th of November, I think. So I'm so excited for all the lights to be on. I'm gonna walk to Pizza Express now and get something to eat and keep on the lookout for a ring because I have given up on my photography because I had the wrong lens and there is no point in me doing it with the wrong lens, so. I 
actually like the ones with the flour. Yeah. We have just come into Pizza Express and we've got our dough balls. We've got a dough balls to share. And we've just been talking about shoes. And shoes that you want. Shoes and Funko Pops. Yeah. Yeah. Eric's just been pulling out his phone and being like, what about these shoes? What about these shoes? Um, but yeah, we're going to tuck in to the dough balls. They're really hot at the moment, so we're going to leave them to cool a second. I'm contemplating going back to Selfridges and buying the Funko Pop, like the Cinderella one. Huh? I did show it, you weren't paying attention. But I'm contemplating going and buying the Cinderella Funko Pop. I kind of want it for my desk. Like, the thing is, I've always, every time Eric's bought Funko Pops, I've been like, what is the actual point to them? But that one is so cute, it's like really pretty. So I'm like... No, I have a Well, Eric has loads of Funko Pops. I have. I have about 15. 15 two, Funko Pops, that's actually crazy. Jumbo. Now, I've always just been like, what's the point of Funko Pops? But I've seen that one and like, I want it. But I don't know whether I leave it and go and give Eric a hint for Christmas. Or if I just go get it. We'll see. You're eyeing up the dough balls. You, know, you can, you can yeah. start to eat them. Eric has persuaded me to buy the Funko Pop. So we're on our way back to Selfridges to get it. Um, we just came out of Zara because we're on the hunt still. We might as well go through one of them. Um, we're on the hunt for, still on the hunt for men's rings. So we've decided that we're going to find like a basic one um, that he can get now and then get and then get a really nice one to put on his wish list slash Christmas list. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go get the pop now. So we're back. I've grabbed it. I think it's so, like with the little like mice and everything, I think it's so cute. Not the difference. I'm going to find where to pay and then we're going to go downstairs and look at the Vivian Westwood ring again because Eric wants to get the name of it so he doesn't, so he can actually find it again to put it on his thing. Contemplating if he goes for the ring. I think it is so stunning. The reflection isn't going to let you see it well. Typing. Yeah. You getting it? Yeah, he said I can okay. get it. Do you want to go tell the woman that you want to get it? Okay. I did, so I'm excited to get it. Big. Big purchase? Yeah. I'm with a happy boy. Yay. Got the ring. I've been... I've been looking for a ring since the beginning of summer, so I'm really happy to get it. So we've both put our purchases. Normally the purchases would be the other way around. <laughs> Normally you'd be getting the I'd designer. be getting the designer and, and he'd getting be getting the, the Funko Pop. But I'm really happy for him because he's been looking for a ring for ages. And you found one and you were like, we saw it earlier and he was like, let me come back and look at it again. Yeah. So at least you didn't think, oh, I'll get it as soon as you yeah, saw it, about that, you thought it. about it, and you've come back and been like, yes, I want it. We got told off for filming in Selfridges. <laughs> it's fine. The funny thing is, is like, we were filming majority the of the time, time we were in there, and no one says anything apart from one person. Um, but we're gonna go home now, because I think we both had a good, good day it's starting to rain now, so. Oh my gosh. So we're heading back to the Tube, gonna go to London Bridge and get home. Today wasn't as autumnal as yesterday, like by far, not at yeah, all. Well, yesterday was, yesterday was a little patch. pumpkin patch, but I'm gonna name this as an autumnal vlog, just because it's autumn and the vibes are giving, so. We are currently stuck at Laywell because there's a tree on the tracks. So we've got to stop because there's torrential rain. I will insert a video of that because... And then I have to get off the train and like... Oh my God, you destroyed it! But now we're stopped because there is a tree on the tracks. So hopefully we can get home sometime soon. It's a 
couple of days later I have just finished editing all of the footage from the vlog. I am getting ready to upload it but I noticed that I never filmed an outro and after what you last saw we were still on the train. Everything sort of went south from there. We then got an announcement like 10-15 minutes later being like there are three trees on the tracks like in front of you and there is one behind so we couldn't go back to London Bridge to get a different train like a different direction and we couldn't move forwards and they did not know how long it was going to take for the trees to be cleared and everything and it was still pouring down with torrential rain and super 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 windy so yeah we had to get off the train and get the bus it took us two and a half hours to get home normally it takes us like maximum 45 minutes normally like half an hour to get home it took us two and a half hours to get home we left Oxford Street at like 4 30 and didn't get home till like quarter to seven i can't even tell you we were running for the buses we were packed on a bus like they weren't even stopping at stops where people weren't getting off because there was genuinely no space on this bus to get off so i could not be filming there was way too many people it was super stressful but yeah we got home in the end and i'm here now i've edited the footage i have literally got myself so cozy here tonight editing the video i've got candles on i've got this candle the flame is massive i don't know if you can see like i don't know where it's from it's my mum's friends got it for her and i've literally just stolen it today because i think it smells amazing it is literally making my room smell like christmas trees which i'm obsessed with so i'm just gonna finish editing this by inserting this clip and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed sort of like the festive autumnal vlog there will be some more like this coming to you soon and do let me know if you want any more like sit downy type talky videos but other than that thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did give a thumbs up if you want to see more from me please do subscribe and i will see you somewhere else on the internet